The Carter Family, Don't Forget This Song, is a captivating graphic novel that chronicles the remarkable life and career of the first superstar family in country music. Created by David Lasky and Frank M. Young, this narrative beautifully captures the trailblazing journey of the Carter family, setting a gold standard not only in country-western music, but also in the realm of popular music as a whole. Within its pages, the volume explores the profound love stories, births, deaths, and intricate dynamics of familial relationships that define the Carter's legacy. The story commences with a poignant prologue set in 1893 in Scott County, Virginia. Alvin Pleasant Carter, undeterred by his family's initial skepticism, introduces a fiddle to a family gathering, despite their doubts about the disruptive and seemingly unpleasant sounds it produces. However, as the narrative progresses, Alvin's unwavering passion for music begins to resonate with his relatives. The transformative power of his melodies captivates their hearts, and soon, music becomes an integral part of the Carter homestead. Initially drawing inspiration from English and Scottish ballads, A.P., his wife Sarah, and his cousin Maybell, play a pivotal role in shaping the distinctive sound of American roots music in their region as the 20th century dawns. They embark on a journey of crafting their own original compositions, catching the attention of a record producer who arranges their first recording session in 1927. The Carter's exceptional blend of Americana-infused melodies captivates the public and yields a series of timeless hits, securing their place in music history. So significant is their repertoire that Lasky and Young ingeniously draw inspiration for each chapter title from a Carter family masterpiece. Their repertoire includes beloved classics such as My Old Virginia Home, Will You Miss Me When I'm Gone, Can the Circle Be Unbroken, The Storms Were on the Ocean, The Birds Were Singing of You, Look How the World Has Made a Change, 50 Miles of Elbow Room, The Picture on the Wall, and The Iconic Wildwood Flower, a song that would be embraced and reimagined by future generations of the Carter family. However, amidst their musical triumphs, the Carters are not immune to the complexities of family dynamics. A.P.'s retirement from music leads him to become a traveling salesman, resulting in prolonged absences from home. This creates an opportunity for Sarah to develop feelings for another man, none other than A.P.'s cousin. Sarah and A.P. eventually divorce, and she enters a new marriage with Koi Bays. With this, the original trio of the Carter family comes to an end. Yet, as one chapter closes, a new generation of the family takes up the mantle. Maybell, joined by her daughters Helen, June, and Anita, continues to perform and earns the enduring nickname Mother Maybell. The Carter family unfolds against the backdrop of the Great Depression, a period marked by immense hardship and transformative change. The Carter's music resonates deeply during this era of economic despair, offering solace and a voice to the working-class people who often go unnoticed during times of crisis. Their songs affirm the shared humanity of their fellow citizens, reminding them that they are not alone in their struggles. Furthermore, the Carters provide an invaluable escape. In the face of unimaginable challenges, their catchy tunes and infectious rhythms offer a respite, allowing listeners to momentarily transcend their worries and find joy through dance and music. Their songs resonate with themes of love and loss, offering solace to the downtrodden and giving voice to the often overlooked individuals of rural America. The Carter family delves into the family's rich history, presenting a detailed family tree that illustrates the connections between its members and the growth of their legacy over the years. The book also provides a selected bibliography, offering additional resources for those seeking more information about the Carter family. However, no account of the Carters would be complete without acknowledging the significant contributions of June Carter and her husband, Johnny Cash. In a poignant epilogue, Lasky and Young take us on a journey with June and Johnny as they visit a tree that was planted by A.P. Carter many years ago. This concluding chapter serves as a gentle reminder of how June and Johnny carry on the torch for the original members of the Carter family, becoming torchbearers for the future of music itself. In addition to its insightful storytelling, the Carter family includes a valuable treasure, an accompanying compact disc featuring rare recordings of the Carter family's music. This provides a unique opportunity to immerse oneself in the authentic sound that defined the Carter's enduring legacy. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.